um, the delays in ambulance response and transfer times, the difficulties treating patients in a timely fashion, and the pressure on acute beds and waiting times for operations, will you now reconsider your plans to close Charing Cross Hospital with the loss of <coughs> A&Es and 300 plus beds? So the STP has been very clearly laid out and recently presented um, in October of last year. And I think it says very clearly within that that over the <coughs> five year period of the STP there are no plans to change the configuration or the A&E department at Charing Cross Hospital and during that period of time all of the demand that we've been experiencing which has as Tim has talked about, gone up considerably, will be reviewed and the plans reviewed to say, is this still the right course of action or do we need to reconsider the course of action? So that's very clearly laid out within the STP. So in the planning period we're talking about, there are no plans to change the service configuration in the A&E department at Charing Cross Hospital. Chairman, I think this, this is a point that the board could express more strongly, though. Uh, we know that Charing Cross is not going to close. We're investing in new theatres and all sorts of things. Obviously, we don't know what's going to happen in the long term. Any of our hospitals will close, so we can't make a long-term commitment. But for the next few years, our staff, patients, everybody else will be confident that Charing Cross is going to stay. Yeah. Yeah.